Well, thirty-five percent doesn't sound like a lot. Are you sure you can't reconsider? I for an hour. I just thought. I've worked on this for four years. How many are you expected to sell? Really? Well, what can we do to promote it? <laughs> Sorry, Rose, can I quit you back in five? <laughs> Cheers. A girl? Yeah, the adoption agency said the 29th of July. It's so soon. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, is everything okay? Like, is she healthy? <laughs> yeah, she says she looks perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, baby girl. Something panicking you? Nothing, I don't think. I don't know, I really don't. Uni? You're 18! Aren't you a bit old to be crying about going to university? What, Otto? Just go back to bed. Are you sick? I can't go to bed when you're crying and whinging all night. Well, I'd rather be unsteady than ignorant. Try to disrespect me again. I do, yeah. I'm not gonna fight with you. She's not doing this on purpose, alright? Just go back to bed, please. And if I fail my final tomorrow, it's your fault. <laughs> Thought you'd be cold. Thanks. Don't get work. Not until 11. How are you feeling? A bit weird. I feel kind of out of it. This might make you feel a bit more alive. I don't know if I should. Is it, huh? It's just chocolate. I know, but I just haven't been eating great recently. Please stop worrying. We're going to have to do it at uni still. What? I don't think I'm going in today. I didn't get much sleep last night and I don't feel amazing. You need to go in. You've missed too much already. And there's so many sewing notes that Sarah's going to send you. They'll kick you out sooner or later. Thanks. I just don't want your problems to hold you back. My problems? What you know, does that mean? You know what I mean. I need to go. Just don't worry so much, okay? How are we going to have to do it at the uni, Stella? Are you alright? 
Yeah, I got so much sleep last night. I feel amazing, genuinely. I know you do. You're glowing. There's only so many notes she can take, you know. Sarah's missed a lot of classes, but I'm sure she appreciates it. I mean, I take a lot of notes anyway, so there's no harm in sending them to her. Nothing can hold you back, can it? I have my bad days, but you're right. I got my life together. Did you read the script that I emailed you? Yeah, I did last night. You're so talented. I mean, maybe we could start our own company together, like a graphics design and script writing company. One day. I love you. So much. I'll see you later. See ya. Hey, how you Just sitting around, really. Yeah. What adventures are you taking Rosie on today? I just killed off Pete. What? No, you can't do that. Rosie and him were destined for one another. Don't worry, he reappears in Cena Lovely. Mm. Where's John? Just went to work. Otto? Could be anywhere, really. He said something about having an exam at 3 in the morning. 3 in the morning? You do realise Otto's chance because of that? It wasn't anything like that at all. I had a panic attack and Otto had a go at me for being inconsiderate. Oh, you scared me for a moment there. Not that I think you'd have it in you to cheat. Just, I don't think John really understands my mental illness. It never hurt him though. But Otto seems to have it out for me. You're wonderful. You really can't help something like that happening. Let's go talk about it. I know you might not have got a chance to speak, up, speak to John about it in the morning. Okay. Did you want a drink? Uh, Coke, please, if you've got it. You're a bit late. Yeah, they kept me extra 10 minutes. I needed to wash the uh, last couple of dishes. <laughs> I don't know why you stay, John. Sounds like a nightmare. Work or shut up. <laughs> don't give us such a hard time. She's been through seven years of this mental illness. She's not doing it on purpose. Does sound a bit harsh, mate. You sure she's the right girl? Yes. At least she seems certain. Look, John, I'm not being funny, all right, but she's been living with us for quite some time now, and she's, you know, prone to be a bit dramatic. I mean, last night she was a fucking nightmare. What happened? It doesn't matter. You're talking about her like she's two. She didn't mean for last night to happen like it did. Don't be an asshole, though. Just trying to be a good friend. Because, um... Oh, yeah, I always forget you're related. I need to get going. I need to meet Stella. Why should we at uni? Don't know. Maybe. Either way. You feel like you're not in your own head? Yeah. It's like my brain and my body are different. It's like my brain's trying to hurt me. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess. What about what about the rule following? Where do you think that comes from? It might be a genetic thing. My mum gets it too. I just feel this urge. An urge? An urge to follow these rules that have been ingrained into me. I've been doing it for years. Like keeping clean, is that an urge? Have you seen the apartment? <laughs> Shit, maybe not. It's more like... If I wash my face, I have to splash the water five times. Why, why five? Something in me makes me do it. Something tells me that something bad's gonna happen to me or to someone else. Like John? You, you wouldn't hurt him, would you? I might. You can't. Your mind is playing tricks on you. You can't let it win. I know. I'm just scared and I feel out of control. I've read about this somewhere. Do you think you have OCD? Yes, definitely, but I can't really say that, can I? But if you think you but have... I haven't got an official diagnosis for it yet. It just feels wrong to say. I feel guilty. Like I've made it up. What if I've made it up? Hello, this is the MT Hotline. Press 1 to discuss any issues, concerns or worries you may have regarding you or someone you know with mental health. Hello, it's MT Hotline. My name is Jason. What's your name? Stella. Hi Stella. What would you like to talk about today? Are you recording this? What have you say say is private unless you're in danger of hurting yourself or someone else? I think I... I feel like I'm reaching my breaking point. I have to follow these rules for like nearly everything and I don't do exactly what I need to and I follow these rules that I don't need to and I think something bad's going to happen to me. Are you close to anyone you can discuss this with? I have a friend that understands, yeah. 
Any parents? I don't live with them anymore. I don't know how they'd react. This will be very difficult for you. Have you been diagnosed with OCD? No, but I want to be. I want help. I have panic attacks too. It's like taking over my life. Tell me what happens to you, Sarah, when you have these panic attacks. I just feel like the walls are moving in, like, like I'm dying. I can't breathe. That must be terrifying for you. Let's talk. Stella? Oh, hey. Hi. How was work? Yeah, uh, you know, it was, it was okay. Busy day? No, not really. Are you on the phone too? Sarah, she gave me the notes from the lecture I missed today. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. You just look beautiful. I just wanted to kiss you. Is that alright? Of course. I just, want, I just wanted to get close to you again. We are close. I love you. You love me, right? Of course. But I just feel like I don't really know you anymore. I'm no different than I was two years ago. You're the same Stella, but you seem... Seem what? Quieter. You seem paranoid. I'm scared. Isn't that understandable? I don't know how to fix you. I don't need fixing, John. Well, there's obviously something wrong. Something is, but why can't you just try and understand? I'm still a person. I'm sorry. So I can't tell. Yeah. These became clear on the 9th of April when they launched a full scale assault in the Argente area north of Ravenna. A massive raid by 1,800. What's that you're reading? The Fall of Berlin Wall. Never knew you were a history buff. I'm a man of many secrets. You'll discover that as you're living here full time now. Only until I find my feet. And when will that be? You know it hasn't been easy. I know. You're still sketching? I have been since I could pick up a pen. What's this? For Otto! How was work? It was great. I missed you. Busy day? No, not really. I was thinking earlier. I think we should talk. Okay. I know it hasn't been easy for you. And I don't exactly know what you're going through since I'm not in your shoes. No, you're not. But I love you and I'm here to support you. Whether that's two in the morning or two in the afternoon. Okay? Thank you. You're so brave. Going through this for seven years, it's crazy. If I can get from a brain fighting me, I can get for anything. Yeah, just. You meet Stella. Oh, just popping in. Did you have time to speak to her earlier? She went your argument then. What? No, I, I just thought you'd have to leave. Uh, uh, I did, but she was still asleep when I left. Mm. She's always been a nice person. It's funny. When we were younger, she used to say the silence scared her. That's why she always needs to tee me on to sleep. She never told me that. I think it's hard for her to feel comfortable enough to share such intimate parts of herself. I think her brain looks dark. Dark? Yeah, like, she's the least fragile person. She's got such a happy face she can bring her out, but she's hurt. Her mind's hurting her. You know her really well, though. Not so much anymore. I don't really understand her. I don't think I'm good enough. John, you're not. How long have you been there? Oh, just a few minutes. Well, Otto bought some pancakes home yesterday. I'm sure he won't notice if one or two are missing. Mm, I'm sold. Do you want the notes from yesterday's lecture? I'm cool. I mean, I'm coming in this afternoon. <laughs> you sure you're still on the system? Piss off. Really then? How are you? I'm cool. You? What? Really? I mean, yeah, I'm not 100%, but I'm fine and 
That's all I want right now. Mm. I'm glad. I just want you to be happy. I want you to be happy too. Anything it takes. Have you seen John? Before he went out for dinner. Are they new Italian? Fuck knows. You didn't say anything to me. I'll go check upstairs. You do that. Sarah? Yeah? You kissed my best friend, John. My only friend. I'm so sorry. I know I've been a lot this past year, but... It's not that. I just got caught in the moment. Why didn't you just leave? Why would you ask me to move in with you? I wasn't. My brain stopped working for a few seconds. Look, I know everything I've been through has been tough on you, but I can guarantee you it's been a lot fucking worse for me. You have no excuse for this. I love you. I love you so much. Do you all ever want it? Or ever want it? Stella? This was just way too far on both ends. I didn't deserve this. John's staying with Molly and Amelia for a bit. I'll leave. I don't know what good staying here would do me anyway. Look, just stay, alright? All your things here, and we're gonna need help moving it all. It's gonna be a mess either way. Otto. I don't know how to not love him. I haven't missed a day of seeing him in two years. I get it. But I don't think he meant to hurt you. Really? Being honest, I can't stand you. And I never really understood what he sees in you. But he's done something that he really shouldn't have done. Me and John's been really close over the past few years. But he's fucked you over. He still loves you, though. He never did. If he loved me, he wouldn't hurt me. He just doesn't understand your issues. Don't use that word. Neither do you. Yeah, well, we all can't be skilled in everything. You both promised to love each other until death do you part. Yes. Wonderful. Now, John, do you take Stella as your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health? I do. Stella, do you take John as your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health? I do. You hurt me, and you knew everything. What happened to being there for each other? And you. You knew everything. You knew more than I did. And now all these good memories have gone to waste, replaced with the feeling that I'm not good enough. I can't apologize for you not understanding how I feel.
What the fuck is going on? Piss off! I don't care. Nothing feels right. I can't do anything right! Well, what's wrong with Stella, eh? Throwing your toys out the pram. Having tantrums again. I'm bored. This is everything. It's ruining my life. Oh, aren't these dramatics entertaining? <laughs> Carry on. You're amusing me. What have you done to her? <laughs> Nothing. She's just being dramatic. You have to be dramatic. You're just standing there laughing at her. You know what it does? It breaks someone down. She's not even that bad. How would you like to do that to you, huh? You're lazy, underaccomplished, and mean. And if you think being mean is some sort of freedom of speech, which just makes you boring. Don't even fucking start with me, we'll about it. Don't you fucking talk to me like that. John, stop! You regret it afterwards! Go to jail for this. Hi. There's a badly hurt or responsive male at 68 House Street. Yeah. Thank you. Taking John in for questioning. Do you think he'll go to prison? I think so. He'll definitely have to for what he's done. He's so young. So is Otto. What about Stella? I don't know. She's safe, I think. John really loves her. Otto was wrong. Yeah, so are we. Let's not talk about this now. It's it's not fair on them. I should have stayed at home. Cause right now I see all these people that love me, but I still feel alone. Can't help but check Listen here, Brain. You may throw things at me and try and hurt me a million times a day, but if you think I'm not strong enough to deal with everything that you throw at me, then you're wrong. And I'm letting you know something now. If I have to live with this anxiety and menacing OCD for the rest of my life, then it's fine because I'm not just going to deal with it. I'm going to thrive. Otto. Hi Otto. What would you like to talk about today? I have OCD and general anxiety. I have done for about eight years now. I don't want to go on, go along with it alone. I should have stayed at home Cause right now I see all these people that love me But I still feel alone Can't help but check my phone